Looking outside of my spot, back inside. I'm going to raise a hair collective. Got my 70 looking good. Looking outside, looking inside. RPM's beautiful. Keeper coming. A little bit of horn action, no big deal. Go down just a hair collective, make that horn go off. Now we turn back into the wind. My speed should pick back up because I got down close to 60. Now we should get back closer to 70. About treetop level, I'm going to start a gentle flare. As it gets bigger, I'm going to make it bigger, bigger, bigger. And then I'm going to roll on. And I made my number nine. All right, we're going to get back to that video in just a minute. This is day four of auto rotations. We're going to go out and do the 180 and talk about how you can use 290s that is very helpful, helpful for some people when they're struggling with that full 180 turn. Works for some, not for others, but it's, a, it's an option. And we're going to get right back to that video. As soon as we talk about, of course, ending tonight, the July sale. The code is July 44. You enter that code in the coupon box during checkout and click apply and you'll see the discounted rate. So we can just tell you what that is. Our monthly subscriptions, keep as long as you like, cancel anytime. For this special ending tonight, $42.68 is what you're going to save on a monthly membership. will cost you $54.32 as long as you keep that monthly, that, that price will be there and available for you. Then we have 12 month options on all of the private, commercial, instrument, and CFI. You can see all, some of our past members up here on the wall have passed their check rides and we've got them up on the Hogs Wall of Fame. That is normally $6.97 with a 44% discount. You save $306.68 for a price of $390.22. And then we have a private pilot lifetime, normally at $997, 44% off. You save $438.68. So that lifetime private pilot is going to cost you $558.32. That's the price of an hour of flight time and one time with an instructor. And this is going to keep you that private pilot. It's going to save you thousands in the end. And then for our pro pilot, you get private pilot, commercial pilot, instrument pilot, CFI, all the courses. It never expires. That's normally at 2,800. Been there for several years now. You can save 1,232 bucks off that pro pilot membership. Never expires. Help you get through all the ratings. Can save you thousands of dollars. That's on sale at 1568 and that ends tonight at midnight. So remember, July 44, type that code in the coupon box during checkout, click apply, and you will see that discounted rate. So let's dive into another video on helping you with some tips with auto rotation. Okay, we're going to go around here and do a 180 degree auto rotation. I want to take my time getting set up for these. If you rush the 180, that's going to probably end up sloppy. You want to take your time so you can have a nice setup. I know it's not real world, but we've got to train to a standard, so we want to do the same thing every time. I'm going to enter about oh, 650 AGL on downwind. When I'm going to bean my spot, I want to get a good setup going. I want to get it entered, start my turn, and I'm going to make the full 180 degree sweeping turn. The last video, we did a 90 degree turn. And some people like using 290s in a 180. All depends on the person. Some people like that. Some people prefer just a full sweeping 180 turn. So it really depends on the individual, what works best for you. So I just did one before I turned the camera on. And I overshot just a little bit. I was a little too close. So I'm going to readjust from the last one. I got a creek right ahead of me. Last time I was just to the right of that creek. So I'm gonna adjust this time. I'm gonna be right over the creek and see if that helps me. I got the wind kind of pushing me through the turn, so I have to remember that. I wanna get my altitude back down here a little bit. So I'm looking outside, inside, outside, inside. And again, you want a nice setup. I wanna be about 75. I like to have 75 so then I can do a little aft pull at entry, pull it back towards the 70. I like 70 in the autos and the R44. There's 75 or so. A tiny bit of rate of descent, no big deal at this point. We're coming up in our spot. So we're gonna say one, two, three, enter. Down collective, right pedal, aft cyclic. Start my turn. Looking outside of my spot, back inside. I'm gonna raise a hair collective. Got my 70 looking good. Looking outside, looking inside. RPM's beautiful. 
Thank you for coming. A little bit of horn action, no big deal. Go down just a hair collected, make that horn go off. Now we turn back into the wind. My speed should pick back up because I got down close to 60. Now we should get back closer to 70. About treetop level, I'm going to start a gentle flare. As it gets bigger, I'm going to make it bigger, bigger, bigger. And then I'm going to roll on. And I made my number nine. Not the most beautiful auto of all time, but guess what? That's how it works. On any given day, we can go out there and nail them like crazy. Then an hour later the next day, you might not do so well. It all depends on how much sleep you've had, how you feel, and just whether you're having a good day or not. So let's do warning caution lights are out. Gauges in the green, looking good. Out of the yellow, about 28 minutes into my flight. And I'm going to go around and do another one. Actually, let's do one to the left. I will make admission here. I'm always, when I fly by myself and practice, I'm always on the right. But when I'm with students, I'm on the left. And then when I try to do a right-hand auto from the left side, I usually kind of struggle because I don't do them over there. I'm riding around listening and watching someone else. So we're going to try one from the left. No traffic out here today. Nobody's talking. So I'm going to do a left 180 this time and see how I do. Hopefully it'll be a little bit easier because the wind is off my nose a little bit to the right going this direction. So if I do a left 180 coming back, hopefully that'll make my auto a little bit prettier. So the thing is, auto, two, no two auto rotations ever come out exactly like the next one. And also, there's a million ways of teaching quick stops, like there's a million ways of teaching hover autos. I'm showing you how I do it may not be exactly how you do it, but that's okay. Lots of different people are taught different ways. And as long as the maneuver is safe and the outcome is within a standard of what you're looking for, then you're good. So I'm going to start my left-hand turn. And again, I'll be guessing because I haven't done any left ones in a while, especially going this direction. So I'm going to make a guess on where I want to be. And I'm going to raise a little collective right now. I'm a little slow. I want to get up to above 70. I want to hold that 1500 so I got like at least 650 feet. Give myself a little extra time there to make my turn. Alright, so now I want to level out. I want to crease up to about 70. And I'm going to cheat in here a little bit. Not cheat, but just move in. I'm making a guess on where I need to be because now when I turn, I'm going to turn into the wind as I make that turn. So I kind of got... I got a barn right in front of me. I'm heading towards in between two hangers that are ahead of me. So I'm going to start watching for my number nine. I got zero rated descent. Got my 1500. I'm about 75. Beautiful. That's what I like. So I want to be ready to start counting before I get a beam and then enter when I am a beam. So looking outside, backing up my gauges, back outside. We're going to say one, two, three, enter. Collective down, right pedal, aft cyclic. Start my turn, and then I'm going to kind of judge. How much do I need to turn to try to make my spot? So I got my 70. I'm raising a little bit of collective, just a little. Got 65. When I turn into the wind, it should pick back up. Looking good. I got 65. Beautiful. Coming back towards my 70. RPM is right where I want it. Looking good. Might overshoot my spot just a hair, but I'm dying close. Tree top. Make it bigger. Make it bigger. Just over my nine. Race collective. Rolling throttle. Not too bad. When you feel the pressure to fly, but know the right decision is to stay on the ground, hit the hogs, no go, and live to fly another day. Helicopterground.com.